Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to show you guys how to remotely decrypt a Lux passphrase for your root file system. So uh, starting with Red Hat 7.4 Plus, Red Hat implemented a component that could be leveraged to enable Lux encrypted disks remotely. This feature is called NBDE, short for Network Bound Disk Encryption. So the concept of it is simple. There will be two components. The first component is called Tang and the second component is called Clevis. What's going to happen is Tang will uh, house an encryption key to decrypt the uh, Lux server. The second component called Clevis will have a series of packages that will need to be installed and some configurations that need to be made. In order for this to work, both uh, Tang and Clevis need to be able to talk to each other on the same and be on the same network. Um, this setup is great for if you need to uh, reboot a machine after a patch and are unable to get to it uh, physically. So um, here we see on the left hand side I have uh, um, Lux enabled on the root file system. So before anything I need to provide it a password in order for me to log, log into it. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Um, on the right hand side here, this machine is going to be the Tang machine and this is going to have Clevis installed in it. Alright, you'll see that the uh, machine on the left is up. I'm going to go ahead and log into it as root. Okay, so the uh, first step um, on the Tang machine, we need to install the uh, Tang package. So I'm going to go ahead and install that. All right, that's installed. The second thing that we need to do is systemctl enable tang d dot socket dash dash now. Okay, so it's enabled now. And then after that, firewall dash cmd dash dash add dash port yes okay so I already have that uh, that port open but you guys go ahead and uh, execute that command just make sure to add a dash dash permanent option yeah. Okay. So with this algorithm that's being used, the client keys are not actually transferred over the network. The uh, tank server doesn't actually store the client's actual encryption key. So what it does is it creates some keys, and I'll show you where that's at. If we, oops. Okay. So you'll see that there's two keys that have been. Uh, created on the uh, tank server and uh, we'll get we'll get back to this okay Okay, so the package has been installed. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is uh, go ahead check how many keys are actually associated with this Lux uh, encryption. Okay, so as you can see here, um, there's only one key associated so far. Uh, you'll see slot uh, one through seven, they're all disabled, meaning there aren't any other keys besides the current one that we uh, have. So the third thing that we need to do here is uh, clean this. Lux find dash D dev SDA to tank URL. I think it's 192. Let me just we need so what we need to do here is uh, essentially uh, 
um, give it the IP address of uh, this specific machine. So I'm going to go ahead and find that one out. That out right there. So that's going to be. Yeah, okay. So it's uh, 192.168.0.17. 0 0.17. Okay, so it's going to be 0 0.17. Yep. Okay, so what it's going to ask is, uh, you know, is this the same key that you see over here? Remember earlier on, I showed you these two keys on the Tang machine. So yes, it is. I'm going to go ahead and press Y for yes. I'm going to go ahead and yes. So what I need to do here is enter the current password for the uh, Lux that has the root file system encrypted. Enter. Now, if we do quick setup, so this first uh, slot, the first lock key is actually it's associated with the Clevis uh, with Clevis, so that, that, that's that's good news. And the next thing we need to do is execute rocket dash f. Okay, so uh, the last thing that we needed uh, that we need to do is uh, have the machine uh, reboot the system. Um, what's going to happen is earlier on in the boot process, the system is uh, going to come up and it will attempt to uh, access the Tang server so that the uh, root file system uh, can be uh, disabled. So I'm going to go ahead and reboot this machine. Okay, so at this point, we're just going to go ahead and uh, let it sit here. So what's going to what it's doing is it's attempting to access the tank server um, to uh, essentially decrypt itself. So I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to type in any password. We're just going to hang out here until it it's able to decrypt itself. Okay, great. So there you go. So yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much uh, the gist of the whole thing. I think this is great. It really helps out uh, when you don't have uh, physical access to the machine. Another thing also is, uh, let's say if the Tang server is down and this guy can't reach the Tang server, you can have a second Tang server or a third Tang server or a fourth Tang server set up so that you know there's high availability if you guys want i can show you guys how to set up a second and a third um, tank server as well so yeah if you guys have any questions uh, comments or suggestions please comment below and i'll do my best to accommodate everybody uh, hope you guys are doing well have a good day or if you're watching this at night have a good night i'll speak to you guys uh, in another video thanks for watching